dreaming not in Hi guys. So today this is one of the tops that has not been working for me over the years. I've had this top for over 18 years now. A lot of stuff in my wardrobe, they're pretty old. And so I have not been reaching for this top. If you guys have seen me anytime, I love the style of this top. I just love the neckline. It's a high neck that I absolutely love, but it had all these embellishments that I really didn't like. And so today I'm working to take them off. I could get more wear for this particular piece because I, I love the color of it. It's gorgeous. I'll also be pimping this one. As much as the embellishments are cute, I find I'm not reaching for it either. So the best option for me is to just get rid of them. I believe I'll definitely get more wear out of it. So that's what we would be doing today. And hopefully I'll also get to do this one as well. Because, oh my God, this is so loud, seriously. And the bottom line is, is that I want to get more wear out of these pieces because they have been sitting in my wardrobe and they have not been working for me. So let's get to flipping these items. I've been dreaming not in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like 
Pick a card, never change, play the game that we say. I need a break. Don't stay strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. What I'll do, I'll take this top because this is a heavy material. one I think I might leave these ones up there because they're pretty subtle just look for the threads cut it just cut it off this is pretty intricate and I know a lot of work went into the making and attachment of these but it's not my style. I'm hoping I'm praying that on the opposite side it doesn't have the black marks sorry I'm freaking you guys out I'm hoping that when I flip it over it doesn't have any black marks on top of it <laughs> like the way how obvious these are on the yellow fabric I'm hoping I don't even know what the fabric composition of these uh, because there's no label indicating anything this is the only thing here and it's illegible it's, you can't see anything the same for this one as well this is what it has it's illegible but anyway let's flip it over and see oh, this is a messy job eh so you have to be prepared for some messes. <laughs> Let's, oh, here it looks. It's not very obvious, is it? See? So most of it are gone. So I think when it's washed, you're not going to be able to tell that. But the mark is still there for sure. But there are no black marks. I believe when I wash this and iron it, it would be faded. So yeah, it's almost done. Yay! Item number three is of course another bold piece. The red color along with the very stark horizontal detail. Oh my God, guys, these embellishments really stood out on this top. So the color combined with that degree of starkness really, really make this piece an in your face piece. Love the look of it. 
There you go, guys. See? Had I cut the strap, the extra strap off, I would never get to wear it like this. And I love that because I do love a great cold shoulder and it gives the effect of a cold shoulder. So I love that. <laughs> One last tip is to always store the items that you have removed. I don't know what these are called. Maybe they are batiks or just simply fabric crystals. If anyone knows, of course, please let me know. Store them in a jar so that you could reuse them on another item that you may likely want to have some fun with because they are great decorative pieces that you could elevate an outfit with in the future. I am sure that I would find some use for these items, but in the meantime, I am using one of my pickle jars <laughs> that has been lying there to store them so that I could use them later on. So I hope you find some inspiration and I'll see you soon. 